This church. Bam, we're talking about a line that stretched two miles long. They were bringing in all types of guns, including long forgotten pistols, old hunting rifles, and rusted shotguns that for years sat untouched in storage. One person dropped off what police estimated to be 62 handguns. In exchange for your guns, here's what you got. A gift card that was worth 50 to $200, depending on what type of gun that you had. The event operated on a no questions asked basis. Cars snaked around the Willow Avenue parking lot were one by one. Houston Police Department field training officers collected the weapons, ensured they were not loaded, and fastened orange zip ties to the action. That's the part of the gun that loads, fires, and ejects a cartridge. Evidence technicians then input the serial numbers into a database to check to see whether or not they were stolen or used in a crime. The identification process will be completed after the event. If stolen, Police plan to return to the owner. If the gun was used in a crime, police will file it away into evidence. All other weapons will be broken into pieces, then incinerated, police officials said. Harris County District Attorney Kim Og had a problem with it. She criticized the event's organizers by saying, the no questions asked policy amounts to anonymity and immunity for anyone who turns in a weapon, some of whom could be considered witnesses in a crime. Neither anonymity nor immunity is within the statutory authority of a law enforcement agency to extend to witnesses, our wrote. The letter went on to say that gift cards further complicate the situation because money given to witnesses need to be disclosed to the defense in a criminal case. She said that the program could make law enforcement a party to tampering with evidence and may cause irreparable harm to the prosecution. She urged law enforcement to carefully document the evidence to prevent weapon laundering charges. With no questions asked, the people who turned in their guns received a $50 gift card for every non-functioning gun, $100 for a rifle, $150 for a handgun, and $200 for an assault rifle. All firearms had to be unloaded and placed inside the vehicle's trunk. Let me tell you something, fam. Besides all the politics and stuff, I ain't turning in no gun. Fam, do y'all see what's happening out here? Out of that long two miles line, how many do you think, how many criminals do you think were dropping off guns? How many people who are out there actively participating in home invasions, carjackings, robbery, are turning in guns? I ain't turning in no Hell no. Uh-uh, man. I'm trying to collect more. And I don't know who turned in 62 guns, but they better have 62 more. Because I'm telling you, fam, uh -uh. criminals, killers, they're not turning in their guns. And let me tell you something. Let me let me make sure y'all understand when I, when I talk about killers. You ever notice how a lot of the crimes that are committed are by people who ain't got the criminal history. You see it every day. People who, by you know societal norms or whatever, they you know appear to be 
uh, upstanding people and all this stuff, but then uh, they kill somebody because they don't like what they look like. This happened all the time. These are the people who got the guns. You know? So a lot of people who are your standard criminal, you know, the, your, your traditional criminal, the one that we identify as the one that law enforcement say this is the criminal, you know, uh, we know them. We know what they're about. We know how they're going to get down. But it's a lot of people who are unhinged. It's a whole lot of people who ain't really got the mental capacity to be having a damn gun, and they ain't got no criminal record. But they're the ones who take the damn gun and go out and shoot 50 people. They're the ones who uh, shoot the wife or shoot the husband and, and, and kill the kids. So it's not just the, the so-called traditional criminal that you got to worry about with these guns. You got to worry about a whole lot of people out here that look like the next door neighbor. You got to worry about them because the next door neighbor's doing a whole lot of killing. Hell no, man, you giving them no guns? I don't understand why people would just give up their guns like that. It's not like crime is going to stop if you give up your gun. The many of the people who are giving up their guns are people who have no intention on violating other people. They're going to be the ones getting violated. And when they get violated, they're going to wish like hell they had something to defend themselves. And I'm going to tell you something, fam. Praying ain't going to get it. Asking God to take care of it ain't going to get it. God already took care of it when he gave you the presence of mind to go buy yourself a gun, to arm yourself. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. Fam, I'll make a deal with you. I'll give up my guns when the police give up theirs. Psych, still not giving them up. No more talk. What the haters talking about?